Hello everybody, this is Tiziano and today we are going to talk about trajectory tracking. That's right, we're going to implement a simple code that will make your drone follow a simple path around a waypoint that we will provide through Mission Planner like last time. By the way, if you haven't seen my previous tutorial about drone delivery, be sure you watch it before you go on with this video because we're going to use a lot of stuff that we already implemented for this tutorial, okay? Okay, let's go on. So what is trajectory tracking? Trajectory tracking is an algorithm that will make something, a robot, um, some robot, to follow a path that you have created somehow. And why do you want to do that? For example, for avoiding an obstacle or for, you know, going from point A to point B in an elegant way. I don't know, but whatever you plan to do, you have to follow that path. So how do we do that? There are tons of ways of doing that. There are a lot of implementations and papers, so be sure you check them out before you find the one that is right for your application. And which is the right for your application? I don't know, but usually the simpler, the better. Anyway, in our case, we're going to implement something very easy. We're going to make our drone to uh, follow a simple path while keeping his forward speed constant and adjusting his heading so to be tangent to the trajectory and we're going to control the off-track error while by adjusting this the lateral speed okay so the vy lateral speed will be used for keeping the drone on the track that's a very simple implementation and that works pretty well you'll see it for VTOLs like motor rotor, helicopter, well, for fixed wing, uh, fixed wing drones, you want to be sure to check out our implementation like the one and I, that I put in the description below because you have to control the bank angle and so you do it in a slightly different way, okay? So what we're going to implement today, we're going to create something uh, from a previous tutorial. So we're going to uh, provide a waypoint with Mission Planner and our script will create a simple circular path around the waypoint. The drone will, uh, will be um, commanded in velocity mode. We're gonna, we are gonna set the forward speed Vx as a constant, the heading as a tangent to the trajectory, and the Vy will be used to keep the drone on a circular trajectory. And you'll see that after a little while, the drone will follow a circular trajectory very, very nicely. After a certain amount of time, the drone will go back, land, and wait for a new waypoint. So, are you excited as, much as I am? Yes, I know that you are. So, follow me in this tutorial. Let's start writing our script for the circular trajectory tracking. We start off by importing the classical uh, import libraries. Then we copy and paste functions from our previous tutorials. The, the arm and takeoff, the set velocity body, clear mission, download mission, get current mission, change mode, and now we write new functions. We define get distance meters as an approximate measurement of the distance between two locations. Then distance to current waypoint is the distance from the drone to the current waypoint. Then we define the function get bearing that returns the angle from one location to another location in um, radians. Now we define burn to current waypoint function. And at the end, we define a function condition yaw that sends a mapping command for controlling the heading in 0, 360 degrees.
then we define saturate or saturating uh, values between minimum and maximum and the function add angles in order to be sure that adding two angles will result in another angle in 0 2 pi. Now we initialize variables, the forward velocity ground speed, the radius, the maximum lateral speed that it will be provided to the feedback loop, the k error velocity that's a proportional gain from the error in meters to the velocity in meters per second, the number of turns, so the maximum turns that we're going to do around the waypoint, and the direction, one for clockwise, negative one for counterclockwise. And as usual, we start uh, connecting with the vehicle and we create our state machine. We start from ground and we wait for, a, for the mission to be uploaded. As soon as the mission is uploaded, the vehicle is a vehicle goes into takeoff. After the takeoff has been completed, the system goes into mission. Now in mission, we implement our feedback control loop where we set the heading as 90 degrees from the bearing. Then we set Vx as constant ground speed and Vy is a, is a proportional to the off-track error. That is the distance between the, our position and the circumference. So actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna check the, our position with respect to the radius. And then after n turns, we go in back mode and so we return to launch. Now we test it in our Windows Mission Planner and Linux Virtual Machine. So we start the simulator, we start Map Proxy, and then we connect Mission Planner with Map Proxy. Then we start our script. And as soon as we start it, we create a mission of one waypoint. As soon as I upload the mission, the vehicle will go into takeoff mode. And the vehicle will start getting uh, commands, velocity commands and heading commands. So you see the heading is 90 degrees to the bearing. The forward speed is constant to 8 meters per second, while the lateral speed is proportional to the off-track error. So we're gonna, so now we are slowly converging to a circular trajectory. And as you see, the velocity is limited to four meters per second because we saturated the command to four meters per second in our script. And after one turn, the trajectory resembles a circular one. Now the trajectory looks like an ellipse because of our approximation that we introduced in our script. Now as soon as the mission is completed, we go back to uh, present to launch mode and we land. Now, the implementation was very easy and some of you may argue, well, you could have done it in auto mode or you could have put it in, in circular mode. Guys, baby steps. It's like Miyagi in a famous movie, Karate Kid, you remember? Baby steps and before you know, you'll be master. Well, kinda. You have to be sure to study, to check out the documentation and to work on it before you ask, okay? Before you ask, make your way understand, try an error, and then you ask. But as usual, I'm open to suggestions and questions. Use the description below, and I'll be sure to read them all, and I'll try to answer the most of them, okay? See you next time.